Prevent this! I completed another bounty. They will come and collect my other hundred gold. I serve Jarl Balkron as steward. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. The only thing I remember is the old story of Tiber Septum being called Dragonborn by the Nords before they switched sides and joined the Empire. No doubt those grey beans up in High Rock God will talk your ear off about it. Near as I can tell, a bunch of ancient Nord hermits who live on top of a mountain. Never heard of them talking to anybody before. If they really do want to talk to you, you'd better go find out what they want. You never know. That is an old tale, but well known to those of us who served in the key. Long ago, there lived a mighty hero of the Nords. Olaf One-Eye. Olaf did battle with a fearsome dragon named Numenex. The struggle between Olaf and the dragon culminated in a mighty duel atop Mount Ampel with Olaf the victor. Olaf returned in triumph to Whiteland. By his decree, the city's keep was rebuilt as a prison for Numenex, and so from that time until this, our great keep has been called Dragon's Reach. Well, there are three of them, arranged in three tiers, as you may have noticed. The Plains District is so named because it's the closest of the three to the plains that surround the city. The inn and marketplace are found there. Most of the city's residents live in the Wind District, which is the middle of the three. Dragon's Reach occupies the highest, which we call the Cloud District. From here, the Jarl can see all that goes on within his city. Ah, splendid. Our fine city has a proud history, and I'm happy to share what I know. The history of White Rite begins with Dorvaskar, the Hall of the Companions. For a long time, it was the only building on the mountain. As time passed, a thriving community sprang up around Dorvaskar, as was common with Mead Halls. Today, White Run is the jewel of Skyrim. I can say without boast that it is the greatest city in all the Holds. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. All this standing in the house of rubbish should be taken to fight with the storm force. <laughs> God, watch over your battles, friend. Well, in the old tales, the dragonborn heroes would use the power of their voice to defeat the enemies of Skyrim. Wolfheart was dragonborn. Talos, too, the founder of the Empire, back in the good old days. In the very oldest tales, back from when there still were dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. They're the masters of the way of the voice, of shouting. They live up on top of the throat of the world. If you're really dragonborn, they'll want to talk to you. In the old stories, they always summon the dragonborn for training. No doubt. He thought it was the only way to make his point, and also because he knew he could. If it's the war you're referring to, I'm on the side of White Rush. No doubt General Callius and his friends in the Empire will tell you that I owe them my loyalty. Ulfric Stormcloak would say that I owe my allegiance to the Nord people as they fight for Skyrim's independence. Perhaps this is also true. The day might come when I am forced to draw my sword for one side or the other. But that day has not come yet. Or speaking of the Civil War, I actually do not have any plans to join a Civil War just up yet. I'm actually going to be planning. I'm going to join the Civil War a much, much, much later. 
in the main story because I want to do the quest Season Unending, which is a peace treaty meeting at High Ruffgar between the Empire and the Storm folks. Now, I don't remember if I actually did that in my original walkthrough, but I'm going to do it this time around. With good planning and constant vigilance, even now my court wizard, Farangar, continues his research into ways we might drive back these terrors. We must also have ample reserves of water to combat the fires that will surely spread after an attack. But our greatest weapon? Courage. For if we cannot kill the beast, we must at least have the tenacity to drive it back. Until brave heroes step forward to destroy these monsters, that is the best we can do. I like how things start. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Father says I'm too young to train with the sword, so I practice with my fists. That'd be a good idea. Dragon, it seems this damnable conflict has claimed everyone's passion. Well, I only know what I've heard in the old tales. Shouting is an ancient form of magic, the use of one's voice to project their power. If you can shout, you need to go see the graybeards. They'll know what to do. I don't know much. Only the old tales about the ancient heroes who would use the voice to defeat the enemies of Skyrim. They say the emperors used to be dragonborn, but that all ended when Martin died during the Oblivion Crisis. The graybeards can tell you much more than I can. They're the masters of the way of the voice, and taught Tiber Septim himself. If I said that was a tedious question, would you be smart enough to know what I meant? Probably not. As long as I'm left alone to pursue my research, I don't care who gives the order. Now, I'm a busy man, and your pointless questions are boring and terrible. Good day. They weren't pointless questions for me. And yes, I would know what you meant by tedious question. Okay, I'm not just gonna that stupid. Because you keep shouting at me every time I pass by you. Shit, up your pie hole. You've been a good friend of mine. That means something. I ain't done nothing. Only if I can help it. But damn if I ain't almost sober. Hey, in the bannered mare. There's this bottle of Argonian ale. The good stuff. Get it for me. They won't even know it's gone. Come on. Argonian ale. I can almost taste it. Sure, whatever. What are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you. No. Even if you are my elder. I'm still trying to be a braver than you actually are, little girl. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Make a seat and make a call about it. This is a local favorite and... Life's hard soldier. enough with all these men propositioning. Nor the rain. But that bard is the worst. You've got no idea. Half the men in white were right proposed to me. Some white were simple. They'll never understand. No amount of flowers or honeyed words are going to change my mind. Right now, all that matters is my daughter, Nila. No man's going to get between me and my little girl. That bard, Mikhail, is begging for a dagger up against his throat when he goes on about me. I heard him boasting at the bannered mare, saying he'll conquer me as a true lord conquers any harsh beast. <laughs> If you want to try, go right ahead. I don't 
don't think anything will get through that thick skull of yours, though. Until time. I'm a bard by trade. Perhaps you've heard of me. There's a whole college up in solitude where they teach the arts. Song, lute playing, poetry. I studied there myself. Had to leave over a misunderstanding with a headmistress. Well, more misunderstanding with her husband. <laughs> Carlotta put you up to this, didn't she? I'm sorry, but that fiery widow is alive now. She just doesn't. What did you just say? All I heard was a sound of jealousy. Hey, I am a girl, not a boy. I don't have to take that from you. You're a dick. Let's see what you're doing. Chasing me? I thank the gods, but I'll settle for thanking you. Here's some coin for your help. All right, then. Oh, red card. Mm -hmm. Did you know that some Arcura warriors are looking for a red card woman? Are you sure? Oh, no. They found me? I need your help, please. Come with me. I need to speak to you privately. Quickly, come with me. Oh, that was rather quick. <laughs> that I had to walk, uh, walk around town, talk to every red guy woman in town. Make for her to go up the stairs. You just, you stay sitting there and I'll, and I'll give you your ale. Lady, could you spare a coin? Drink to our youth, the days have gone. The age of aggression is just about done. You cry out the sun. Uh, well, would you look at that? Argonian ale. My thanks, friend. Here, take this your healing potion. I, uh, found it in the temple. I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm here. Look at this. Some of the Yorin's men came by and left this bounty like this. Need anything else? Just let me know. Yes. Adrian at her forge, just outside. The place is named after her war maidens. It's a childhood nickname given by her father. From what I hear, she was playing with swords even back then. Anyway, our wares are strong and our price is fair. What else matters? We'll have to have a pint together sometime, you and me. Yeah, I'll be doing that because this happens to be on our way to the Swindler's Den. Or at least we can either go there to from Swindler's so, Den. You, you, you think you can take me? You so much as touch me and you're going to lose fingers. I mean it. I'll, I'll cut you in half. So the Alakir know where I am? What do they offer you? Gold? How many more of them are coming? This is an old tell them. You can't tell them. Please, I need your help and there isn't anyone I can trust here in the city. I am not the person that the people of White Run think I am. My real name is Ema. I am a noble of House Suda in Hammerfell. The men who are looking for me, the Alakir, 
They are assassins in the employ of the Admiral Dominion. They wish to exchange my blood for gold. I need you to root them out and drive them away before they find me and drag me back to Hammerfell for an execution. They're mercenaries, only in it for the money. They're led by a man named Kamatu. Get rid of him, and the rest will scatter. Oh. I don't dare show my force unless they recognize me, so you'll have to find out where they are. Uh, lady, there is a difference between an assassin and a mercenary. A mercenary is just a hired thug. An assassin is a professional. I heard one of them was just arrested trying to sneak into the city. If he's locked up in the jail, perhaps you can get it out of him. Please, I know I'm asking you to do something difficult, maybe even dangerous. I just don't know who else I can trust. Okay, they weren't very uh, forthcoming. Can you tell me why they might be after you? I don't know for sure. I spoke out against the Aldmeri Dominion publicly. I suspect that's why these men were hired to hunt me down. Uh, why haven't they got guards for help? They did kind of <laughs> made them leave. You think I'd be in hiding if this was something I trusted town guards to handle? These men are ruthless, cunning, deceitful. They'll pay off whoever they can. I can't trust anyone here in the White Run. Guards and yards can be bought. And the Alakir are close. I'm running out of time, so I'm choosing to trust you. Find me the moment the Alakir are taken care of. Okie dokie. Now let's see if I can fix this. <laughs> he's pissed out on the floor. Oh, oh. Once was a no, he's on the floor. On the floor. I think you can go blade to blade with me. You'd be dead in six seconds. The heat of the battle is the fire that forges the strongest blades. It's an old Nord proverb. That and a true Nord never misses a chance to test her wounds. You've been talking to those companions. Two hot men, they cry. Weak, pathetic cowards, the lot of them. It wasn't my fault. I told them over and over that it was an accident. They wanted me to prove my worth. So they threw me up against a young whelp of a lad, hardly old enough to grow his first chin hairs. I guess they thought a woman wasn't strong enough to hurt him. I didn't mean for him to die. Why would I want that? I just... I just lost control. And why not? I could beat anyone in this city, barehanded. A hundred gold says I knock your hide to the ground. Just fists. No weapons, no magic, no crime. Let's go. Come. Never should have come here. That's what I call a punch. You got me. You're no liar. Best fight I've had in years. There you are. If you ever need another blade at your side, just ask. I wouldn't mind seeing how you handle a few trolls. 
Oh, I'm not ready to take on trolls just yet. <laughs> Stay away from trolls for a while. I mean, I may not have a choice when I when I go to Hierarchy, but <laughs> yeah. Welcome, child. my charge. The goddess's divine blessings have no doubt helped make life a thriving and prosperous city. After all, it is she who brings rain to our crops and fair weather on the harvest days. Somewhat, yes. At first it seemed a distant thing, heard only in the idle speech of guards and traders. When the wounded soldiers began to return from battle, I did what I could to help them. As more of the sick and injured came to the temple, my work as a healer became more important than my duties as a priestess. I wish only an end to the fighting, so that I can tend to the temple once more. The guild of the Green, yes. It's a bit of an eyesore at the moment. More of a problem for the pilgrims than for me, but not many of them around anymore. To the east of here is a hidden grove where the Elder Green resides. It's the oldest living thing in Skyrim. Maybe all of Tamriel. Our tree here in the city was grown from a cutting of that tree. You can still feel the glory of the mother tree through it. Even its name is an echo. I've thought about that. Trees like this never really die. They only slumber. I think if we had some of the sap from the parent tree, we could wake up its child. But even if you could get to the end of it, you couldn't tap it. Not with any Norman method. Elder Dean is older than metal, from a time before men or elves. To even affect it, you have to tap into the old magic. You'll have to deal with the hag ravens. I've heard about the weapon they made for sacrificing spriggans. It's called Metal Bane. The hags terrify me, or I would have gone after it myself. Your spirit is strong. Kinareth's winds will guide your path. It's held in a hag raven nest called Orphan Rock. Safe, well. Be glad you're here in the city and not out in Riverwood. Those poor sorts don't even have a wall. You guys barely have a wall. What are you looking at? You have a death wish then? If you know that name, you must know to meet him would be to meet your end. But it seems we both have moments, friend. Perhaps we can help each other out. I have dishonored my brothers by being captured, so they have left me here. My life with the Alakir is over now, but I have no wish to die in this god's forsaken land. If I can be released from prison, I may start over. See to that. I'll tell you what you want to know. 100 gold will secure my release. You can afford that, can't you? I suppose you'd better hope you can, if you want the information. Get the money into the hands of one of these guards, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Because I was clumsy enough to be captured. Kamatu always says, we're supposed to be the best of the best. I wasn't. All right. 
Thinking of settling in. There's a house for sale. Please home. You should talk to the steward up in the keep if you're interested. I will once I get enough money. But for now, I want to pay for that prisoner's fine. Done. Convince him to stay out of the city while you're at it. And buy my way out of here. I'll tell you what you want to tell Very well. Kamatu is west of White Rock. It's an unassuming little cave called Swinburne's Den. You realize if you set foot in there, you're never coming back out. They'll kill you. But that's your problem, not mine. Say something. I said my fine has been paid. Now let me out. Right, right. Oh, look at that. I seem to have lost my keys. Might take me a while to find them. You just sit tight. I'll get around to it eventually. Curse you. <laughs> Uh, they may not be good at locking people up, but once they lock the person up, they keep them locked up. <laughs> what is it? Alright, so when there's Den, it's so right there, and the bounty, uh, the bounty's right there. So I'm gonna go to Swindler's Den first, and then on the way back to White One, uh, Swing by click that bounty. No trouble seems to find me. No matter where we go, trouble seems to follow. So that's a little difficult to stay out of it. Might as well find something to talk about over oh, there. Um, I suppose uh, one of the things I should inform you guys about is the the quest a balance of power uh, with the saints and seducers. And I did mention that uh, the saints and seducers are not the same. Saints of the Seducers, which we met during the Sunset Isles DLC. Um, they're just a, a group of bandits, a very well equipped and very top group of bandits, but they're still just a group of bandits. Uh, there's actually um, four, four or five different locations which you have to go to during the quests um, and in each one you need to come across uh, like four like three four different bandits in each little encampment and um, and they get a little bit tougher for each group 
And then one of the groups, uh, one for each group, there you come across one of their like one of their leaders, and they have uh, scrolls on them, which allows them to summon the saints and seducers from the Sunset Isles. And then after you killed the, the their leader uh, from each group. You get attacked by like two or three of them from that group. There's like a retaliation for killing their leader. Oh! Whoa! Mammoth! Don't come charging at me! I didn't do nothing to you! Just said two negatives into one sentence, so it made me think. <laughs> it made me think I did do something. No, I didn't. I swear, I did nothing. Uh. Anyway, it's a retaliation for killing their leader. Uh, killing the boss, and then, uh, at the end of uh, the quest line. It actually takes you to solitude at the end, where you have to face off with the the actual like ringleader, and he has after you kill him, uh, you can get some uh, conjuration spell books off of him, which allow you to summon the saints and seducers. Uh, and from the Sunset Isles at any point. It's kind of cool. And they have uh, ones that are, they got warrior ones and you also have archery ones. So, so if you want to like, go and get some dragon, you can summon the archery ones and then like, go and fight a bunch of soldiers and summon the the shoulder ones is get the uh, no, the warrior ones. I say I'm not lost. I know exactly where I am. Enemy game. 